Scandalous Summer. 80s Babies. We checked out the first one. We did. That shit was fire. Damn. The whole project was like a movie for real. And with this being a sequel, you know, you're getting the follow up. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to see how many connections we can detect. We didn't even mention. It's TF. Oh, facts. Scandalous <laughs> Summer. The talk that he comes with on these Scandalous Summer joints is just it's for that hot weather shit. That, that time when shit gets a little bit spicy shit gets a little bit crazy sometimes entirely produced by Polly rob from local astronauts i like the production on that first one so looking forward to seeing what this one comes with if you want to hear more from tf check our description box we're going to have the links to the projects that we've checked out blame kansas the first scandalous summer the one that came before this one and uh the link for this project will be in the description as well along with the links for our reactions to those previous projects first track is uh terminator terminator damn right. bro <laughs> first track listen The, the song that's sampled in the background on the background is off the first one it really is a sequel it's really it's literally picking up right where we left, left off, off yeah with the, with the last one you never want to see these type of tragedies happen to, to anybody but when it's someone that isn't really fully involved the little school nigga like the person that was they was about to leave they had they had a bright future that mm -hmm. makes it hit even the way it started out the shorty she was like she was having it sounded like she was happy yeah it started off as a happy moment and then it led on to hearing the ambulance or the, the police sirens and then chaos damn we war bound, don't bring the semis. We gotta bring the choppers with the titties. We gotta send a message to the city. Bring the choppers with the titties? What do you say? The drums. You touched on it, but it it took it even further by turning into that aggressive. Like you, the beat came in. Yeah. The whole thing just became more chaotic. chaotic like yeah. okay, now we about to. Yeah. We gotta send a message to the city. If they innocent, they off limits. Damn, who raised you, little niggas? I just watched Menace to uh, Menace to Society. Yeah. Yeah, and for some reason, that's the movie that's popping in my head. He was trying to leave to go to Cleveland, was it? And Boys he, in the hood, similar. Boys in the hood, same thing. All I see is red. Fuck the consequences. Trigger finger itching. Gotta leave this whole hundred empty. Turn they set they picnic to Hill's kitchen. Fire engines flying by. Bro, he's he's coming back for war, bro. He's like nah, nah. Trigger finger is itchy. Gotta live this whole hundred empty. All I see is red. Fuck the consequences. In that moment when shit like that happens, you're not thinking, oh, this is this vicious cycle that we're involved in. You're just retaliation bro. yeah bro it's just see red so he, when he says fuck the concept i don't think he's talking about just in terms of the law i think he's saying in terms of culture in terms of everything like fuck the consequences right now imagine the mama crying holding her son he was visiting from college no apologies accepted guillotine off with his head his homies blowing up my line trying to offer his head them bridges burnt up niggas better not call me again they what he's saying is yo they they hit somebody who was again innocent he's just home visiting from college yeah. saying yo no apologies accepted his homies trying to offer him up like yo instead of bus instead of hitting back the whole block yeah. we'll just give him just him damn that's how you know that shit's serious. Hold up, let them niggas go right there. My scene coming, cut the lights off, been a block. They at the burger stand, I feel like dope boy when Ricky got dead. Yeah, this shit real. Damn. I want to see if the next track follows this first track. The story? Like if it's a, yeah, if it's a story till the end. I don't remember the first one being that linear in terms mm. of track by track, but it was the, the whole the body of work was a story. Uh, how to survive in South Central. First you get you a body, then get a pistol. That Carlo Monte you tend to win us. And keep your eyes glued to rear view mirrors. It's about 100,000. What? I said, how to survive, survive in South Central. You got to catch a body first and then cop your pistol. That classic West Coast yeah. hip hop funk. Funk, yeah. Feel too. Yeah. 
stay focused and chase paper. Keep everything scandalous, stay dangerous. I'm cut from a brick, the niggas cross off. I'm weighing out eight balls like golf balls. I'm cut from a brick. These niggas cloth they soft. Cloth soft. You know how niggas say cut, cut from, from a, a different a cloth? cloth? Nah, niggas say I'm cut from a brick. Damn. But also, you cut bricks. Yeah. To the, the, dope. Supply, yeah. Like, what? Yeah. It's a bar. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong set, wrong nigga to fuck with. It's the shit we stuck with. I hate to say it, I love it. This South Central. Coming up on my right, you'll see the Hollywood sign. Hey, yo. And just to my left, notice the chalk outline. A dream detonated and draped in colors. How calmly she's narrating the shit is a, a direct contrast to what she's saying. The Hollywood sign to the to the chalk, chalk outline. outline yeah and then she says a dream detonated, detonated the hollywood yeah, sign people yeah. associate with chasing your dreams, dreams and all yeah. that and then the, the ch chalk outline a dream detonated when you hear this type of beat who's the first artist that pops to your mind bro for me it's either snoop dogg or e40 it's no specific artist but it's it's just a west coast feel mm -hmm. A classic yeah. West Coast feel too. Mm -hmm. The track was dope though. How he again painted another picture of the lifestyle that that he's living or has to live in, has to live in, and him being okay with it. What what is the sample? Of? Hey, yeah, yeah. Levi, mm. Levi, Levi, Barrington. Barrington. We only know for breaking laws. Breaking claws and eight time we lose a homie, they name set it on walls. I wish it all for my words and my balls. So when it's showtime, shows get shut down and curtains get called. No more man's best friend. Niggas murking they dogs. Ironic. It was over a bitch. Word to my dog. The dog? The bitch? Yeah. Over it was over a bitch. Yeah. Word to my dog. No man's best friend. Niggas murking they dogs. Ironic. Oh, it started it from there. Bitch. Word to my dog. Damn. That was nice. Niggas my... gotta get it in blood. How you kill a real Shiesty. nigga and hit the snitches with love? Niggas fake as a Hollywood gun that's full of blanks. What you know about a fishbowl shooting this? This guy said niggas is fake as a Hollywood gun that's full of blanks. In general, Hollywood is fake because yeah. it's just not real as movies. But then Hollywood gun, then that gun is filled with blanks. Chompers it like a blender. You ain't left in one place. This shit a relay. Like the rest when I'm sick. Marathon, I'm still running. It's like he left it to me. Rose gold on my wrist, bitch. I earned my flowers. I'm nothing like gold sum. I said rose gold on the wrist, bitch. I've earned my flowers. Rose. Not a pig in sight. That's Lord Willing. Twin Nanus, Twin Cliffs. That's Lord Willing. Thousand dollar Dior's niggas kicking indoors with him. Uh, everything scandalous, live and die by the sword. I get my little, you know, one one hundred dollar, one twenty kicks, and I'm taking that. I'm taking precious care of that. Man said a thousand dollar Dior kicks with kicking kick indoors door. with him. I mean, he said, no pig in sight. That's Lord Willing. Tuning in live from BTSN Channel 50. We getting reports of local hoodlums hitting licks on any and everybody. Police chief has stated that no street in LA is a safe street. All in all, if you're not from LA, stay the fuck out. If you here, watch the fuck out. Stay scandalous, my good people. Hey, fuck all that, man. I'm finna go get a dick, sir. Where my keys at, man? I'm out this bitch. <laughs> I bet something happens. I was about to say that. <laughs> Producer's doing his thing. Range. Because the first one was on some that, that that old school funk hip hop feel. And then this one is like he sampled a reggae joint. Track number four, Do Anything, featuring Bale and Triz. They were on Scandalous Summer, the first one. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This sounds like niggas, you, you, you my bad, bro. I'm waiting for that, yeah. I'm here. It sounds like niggas about to break into a house, dog. Niggas about, they're on a mission. I'm all enchiladas, empanadas, and tamales in front of the taco mamas. I ain't looking for no drama, but I know I'm slipping. <laughs> Fucking with this bitch for a dose of sloppy head and some chips. <laughs> I see some essays, they busting the bitch. And all I got is this night. I'm like, ain't that a bitch? What do it, nigga? Then he brandished the stick. You ever surprise yourself at how fast you? This is in the island, fam. Yeah. I went back. A dog jumped dog the fence, bro. Was chasing you? Fam? Usain Bolt couldn't catch me, my guy. Someone should have been timing me. I broke a record. But I ain't laughing at shit. I ain't even have insurance. Now my shit fucked up. Trying to get my shit sucked up. Oh, yeah. 
just to get some fire here. I'm what you call, I'm trying to buy here. I'm what you call, I'm trying to buy here. Then up in the projects on a late night. If the hair right, niggas there every night. The hair right, niggas there every night. I like the the reference. The hair, right? Niggas, the hair, night. Uh, also, we just we mentioned we just realized it, it's continuing from the end of the last track where Shorty was like, "Listen, shit's crazy. There's nowhere safe right now." And dude was like, "Yo, listen, I'm trying to get some. Like, I'm I'm headed out." Before I hit the store, I'm like, "Damn, I need some food." So I call Best Burger, get that combo number two. Before I could approach, I peeped the 745. Made a left off Western, think they low, but they not. And I'm still on the bitch, cause I'm thirsty, I ain't gonna lie. So I get right on her, tell her game I can show her. Have a little small talk, if she laughed in the summer. Grab my food off the bar, then we head to the car. All I hear is, I mean, where you from? A couple shots from afar. The they ain't even let him answer. The way you from? Then some shots from my bro. Bow, 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 bow. For a dick suck, I might end up on the niggas that do anything. Pull up anywhere. Just to get some fire here. Yeah. I miss some pussy when these niggas call me slipping. Ran up on my Chevy with the paint still dripping. All I hear is shots ringing when I get the bed and pretty women have the reason my niggas is still in prison. I'm dipping. I'm taking all these risks because I'm tempted. I'll be cheating on my bitch and my whip because this shit is rented and it's tinted. If I call you out your name, don't get offended. Been through hell and high water to get it. I'm trying to hit it. This guy say, I've been through hell and high water to get it. I'm trying to hit it. Like, I'd have been through all this wow. shit. Wow. <laughs> I feel like every guy has had one of those moments, bro. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. I probably don't end up on the news because this be some crazy story bro, to how I got here. Because I don't want my mama reading about this shit. Like, that's how that's how it went down. Bro. That one kind of spoke for itself. Like, exactly. guys, that was pretty straight up, for real. When I get the feeling, I be robbing and stealing. Set you up. Them pockets for good for me. Hey, just for the people that don't know, I think that was Marvin Gaye, Sexual Healing. Just the reference in that yeah. track. When the last time you mashed up and hit something, uh, it's the 31st. Uh, and I ain't got no rent I money. No I spent my last thousand on this clock like, let's go get I money. Go get rich and die trying. If I ain't balling, I'm going to peel something. My guy said he made an investment. Spent his last thousand. He said, it's the 31st. And I, I ain't got, got no nothing. rent money. Spent my last thousand. thousand. On the Glock, let's go get something. 24 hour drive through, it's jury on the mirror. Uh, 24 hour drive, drive through, it's jury on, on the menu. When I started up the day, yeah, I had nothing. Now I gotta fit the Remy, and I'm flooded. Ankle monitor cut it. Gotta catch me if you coming. And you better come and kill. I don't plan on doing no running. Infatuated with the money. Curbside pick up. You slipping on the corner, it's, it's a stick up. up. What? A jury drive through, curbside pick up. We doing this little documentary call. I just got robbed off. Let's yo. So let me get your chain. If you got any money in your pocket, let me get it. Just be cool. Don't act like nothing. Is he recording saying, yo, we're doing a documentary like right now. Give me all your jewelry. It adds to the disrespect when it's done so calmly. Like, I would that. feel less offended if niggas, yo, let me get, Facts. run all that shit, bro. Gonna nah, rap. if you just gonna, let me get, nah, bro, you gonna have me. Show me a gun or something. Nah, bro. you had to show me something, bro. You can go back to your buddies now, I'm saying? Don't scream or nothing like that, all right? All right, all right. Just be easy. All right, my nigga, be easy, yo. I said, be easy, yo. Stay safe. The streets is dangerous out here. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Nah, that's different, still. That's different. That is different. <laughs> That man's really did that. I feel bad for my guy. They say you could go back to your buddies now. That's tough. <laughs> the hook on that track was mad catchy. Yeah. Like I feel like that's something that's gonna like get stuck in my head. Everything's scandalous. I'm just trying to get rich. First off, don't judge me on how I came up. I took a canvas, threw some paint up, and made it a masterpiece. Before that, I was sliding a masterpiece, pushing ghetto dope. I looked up to them niggas that was hustling. I took a canvas. Put some paint on it, turn it to a masterpiece. And then he said, I was sliding, listening to Master P. And then he goes, I look up to the people, to the guys that was hustling. And if you know anything about Master P, that man's a 
hustler. But I, I also think he's referring to the people around him in his mm-hmm. neighborhood, his his um, circle. He yeah. looked up to those guys. Yeah. But, yeah. I like how he started it off, too. Like, he said, don't judge me how I came up. He's like, yo, I took a can't. Like, I, I made it happen with what I had. Turn family into customers, but still a gay to ghetto hope. Dang. Had a nine to five, probably four or five times. Then it was nickels and dimes. Dang. Baloney showed me the ropes. If you know, you know. Nah. That is fire. You reminded me of what he first said. He said, don't judge me on how I got this money, how I got rich. And then he goes, I turned family to into customers. customers. He was trying. I'm like, you know what? Let me let this me try this. Justifying it. This guy said, my guy. He was trying, <laughs> bro. The man had nine to five, four or five times. I got a pocket full of dollars. I'm from over. Summer night lights. Manchester and Hoover, but I'm in and out. Because ain't shit to talk about. I'm back on the money route. I just had to bounce out. Take a look at my wrist. You just see a nigga shining. You don't look at the wrist. Don't judge it. You ain't been in my shoes, bro. I'm loving the their perspectives he's given us on his life and what he had to do to get where he is right now. And basically coming from nothing with a blank canvas, throw some paint on it, just trying out some things and then creating a masterpiece. Yeah, tough track. Mexican tried to sell me my car. Nigga, that thing, I just parked it, nigga. <laughs> My shit. God damn, everything scandalous fucking with this nigga TF, man. Nigga waiting outside and shit. He took the gun. How you gonna take the gun, nigga? I'm the one outside, nigga. Ain't you comfortable with where you going, nigga? Yeah, nigga cap hilt and shit, man. Talking about it's safe, nigga. I'm fucking... Throughout the album so far, TF has expressed that even though shit's grimy, he's comfortable there. Like he's he likes it even. And then this dude saying, nah, this shit, this shit is fucked up. And fucking with this guy. It Shit is not sense. safe. Yeah. Like it's not safe, nigga. We could have went to get some weed on Melrose. I don't. I don't know what the fuck you got me here for, man. Fucking, you don't even smoke weed. How the fuck TF got me out here buying? How are you buying weed? You don't smoke, man. I can't wait till this nigga get back in the car. The skit's called making a run with Slink. So I guess T, that's Slink speaking, and TF is making a run with him, and he's not. He's trying to get the fuck up out of there. He's like, yeah, bro. He's like, nah. This guy don't even smoke weed. Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here? Cause he's trying to get to rich. Shit, yeah. like. <laughs> to, man said a Mexican try to sell me my car. <laughs> I, just I just parked, parked this shit. shit. Beautiful motherfucker. You my little yeah, yeah. Boozy. Yeah, yeah. But you my little yeah. She's so fine. My favorite girl. Gets me so high. My favorite drug. And we won't stop. They know what's up. Every time I think of you, she my little yeah, yeah, yeah. He not talking about weed. I don't think they so. They just say he don't smoke. Yeah, so he can't be that. But she, he did say, gets me so high. I'm liking the R&B vibes, though. Mm-hmm. It's a nice mm-hmm. switch from mm-hmm. the... A change of pace. Counting dirty money, she done made a nigga rich. Sipping rose, cause it match a nigga rich. Bust her open in the back seat, hit her in the whip. Yeah, she taught that fine sweat. She helped a nigga drip, she helped a nigga bounce back. Every time a nigga dance. A nigga paranoid, she helped me with the blick. Yeah, she pretty as fuck, dumb as a brick. She got the keys to the city. Ooh. He's definitely talking about drugs. I don't know which one though. But he said she pretty as fuck, dumb as a brick. Brick, brick yeah. but you know it's a common phrase dumb as a brick see my little yeah 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 right there with her nose up all white robe when she rode up bills didn't fold when she chose up clutch full of blue strips still get wet when the coop shit that's regular only girls that like girl get an invite vegas red carpet at the wind right what happened here staying here knock a trick for the trim night everything scandalous is a sin night that's a flood she's so fine my favorite girl. During TS verse, I was sure yeah. he was talking about that that work. But yeah. then the second verse kind of had me like, wait, <laughs> is it about a woman? Yeah. But there's yeah. still certain parts that sounded like he was talking about drugs. But at the same time, I was like, which, which one? one? Which yeah, one? exactly. Shout out to Polly Rob one time. I'm loving the sounds that we're getting. I love the change of pace with the last two. And just, just the variation and the, the, the variety that we've been getting throughout. The production makes it feel like you're going to different places. One shot, two shots, toast to the dead ones. They say you live and you learn. I got my game from the concrete. 
The pissy mattresses, the prostitutes, the palm trees. They said be selfish with yourself, that's when it come to spending. Keep hustling, next time you look up, you just stack the belly. And most importantly, don't blow your re up on no bitches. Right. Kill her. One shot, two shots. This shit's so smooth, bro. It's like a love song to the streets, stuff. Exactly, bro. To the streets or to where he grew up? Because he said, I, I learned it from the prostitutes, from the, the he said, plum about palm trees, even. Palm trees, the, the concrete. Co the... Cookies. He said something about some food. He learned it from his surroundings. Yeah. One line, two lines. I'm from the era where we used to rent movies, return and rewind. Long songs, Levi's. Nowadays, these niggas wearing Daisy Dukes and sporting knee highs. I learned the game, the gang bangers in the PIs. This guy is these niggas wearing Daisy Dukes, bro. And knee highs. And knee highs, bro. My guy said, yo, I came from an era where we, we rented the flicks and had to bring them back, rewind. Like, you had to rewind the tape before, before you, you brought them back yeah. to the blockbuster and shit. I can't forget the hustlers. They didn't turn my brown to green eyes. Just like the emoji. Ooh. I'm really that cold piece. Uh -huh. The last part really added to it, but the, the whole track, I, I like the approach they took to it. It's a reflective thing, but it the, the, the beat surrounding it is like it's 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 like they're looking at they're looking back on it with like admiration, like yeah. yo, it's you know. And also, you know, basically thanking all the things that brought them to this point as well. That's that's like a common theme though. When you grow into a man, bro, and and you and you truly love yourself. Yeah. You really do reflect on everything that you've been through and, and appreciate it, even even if it wasn't the best. I did everything I could to keep this nigga out of trouble. No matter what I did, I put him in good schools, this nigga get in fights. I try to make sure he look good, I take care of him, but this nigga always, I don't know what his problem is, he stay in trouble. I think I know where this is going. Where? Because the track's called Born Blue, and you okay. know what he reps and stuff, and we mm -hmm. get the monologue at the beginning about it sounds like a mom is saying yo i tried like everything i did he seemed to Let's go against fall the into a certain lane like yeah. you know what i'm saying even i put him in good schools got advice Fights, all of that yeah. he's saying yo born blue like it's just it's just me i had the torch how does kaya push i only thought about my mama on that ride up north Look. but anyways crime pay shit forgive a nigga because every time i hit them licks she like we did a nigga true story tossed her chili on the back end every time i hit them licks she was like we did it nigga so like when he when he got the bag it was all support when my cars got ugly still played the best hand safety net run round with the Dang. safety off i was lost taking bumps up off a of haitian cross Fuck a white flag. Blue bandanas, that's all we waving off. Somehow it's paying Ooh. off. I no surrender, but tying to the blue flag and the Damn. white flag. Yeah, yeah. Somehow it's paying off. I guarantee we make it out. Still, it's some things that I can't thank you about. I'm born blue. This one's. Yeah. The, the lyrics are adding to it, but if you just play this instrumental for me, just like just the instrumental. It still hit me. Mama used to tell me you gon' shine bright in the city lights. You born blue. Well, mama also told me you ain't living right. You gotta get it right. I'm born blue. Uh, I'm living out of moving. White ones tucking Uzis under Kojis. I was a nigga the crash officers knew me. They hit the house had granny cuff. That's how they do it. Damn. My mama asked me about a body why I do it. Everything scandalous. We made it through it. I'm born blue. Towards the end, when he said, "My mama asked me about the body, the body that I caught," and he said, "Scandalous summers, scandalous. Like, yeah, we made it through, yeah. we made it through it, we made it through it." So basically saying, "Yo, I had to do what I had to do in order for us to." And also like, get, avoiding get the top, like don't even talk about it. Like, yeah. yo, that might be my favorite one so far. Yeah, that, I, I really felt that one. It's Tuesday morning. It's a quarter past six. Found twenty k in the evidence. Shout out the last shift. Ain't clocked in in a minute. 
Had to rehab at the crib, my vest got ate up, mid-raid, and fractured to my ribs. Now let's get back to the business, I mean, back to the trenches. The last three members I booked, they got the maximum sentence. I fabricated. He's a cop. Because he said he found something in evidence, and he said the 20K. last three members I booked, they got maximum sentence. Yeah, he said something about his vest. His vest yeah. was, like, basically... Completely ruined. He said something about his ribs his too. Ribs, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fabricated cases, said they tampered with witness. The last crip that called me pig, I told his homies he snitching. Told him what I got a lie for. He made Dang. a statement just for a bag. Paid informers. I swear on my badge. Who do you call? Who do you call? Cause all that 911 shit played out with all that 911 shit. And the towers got hit. Taking out of state trips just to go fish. Anybody spoke on that, they slept with fish. You better worry, nigga. Who do you call? He does sound like a cricket cop, but he also sounds like he's he's good where he's at. Like he could, he's fabricating cases. Just of somebody calling him a pig that you know hit him the wrong way, and he. he Said that the man's is snitching on his own man's. Yeah, man said, put it on my badge. I was in too deep, kidnapped the family. I ain't asked no questions. Threw the mask on, slid through the window, tied up his bitch, and did the same to the children. Then we hit him off his wife phone. Now pay attention, we gonna switch the point of view. Nigga checking his iPhone and say, You gotta come home. Who the fuck is Simone? She showed up at my home. The pictures claiming you bone. His stomach dropped to his balls. She stopped answering calls. She just texts him repeatedly. Who the fuck is Simone? This is fire. He said, pay attention. Switch the point of view. We get the perspective of the guy getting the text message. Yeah. And the woman's voice. Like how he's, I think it's how he's reading it. I did the dash straight home. And I switched the frame back. We back in his home. Soon as he walked in. He fire. The switched the frame back. Now he switched back to the point of view of the cop. Yeah. After he, the cop texted yeah. dude. Who's Simone? The fucking blah blah. Now, dude's concerned. Damn, she yeah. Elite storytelling right here. Soon as he walked in, gauged his dome. I made him lay down. Now, tell me where them bundles you stole. Or them kids you were having funerals for. Him. You better worry, nigga. Who do you call? Who do you call, bro? Like, who do you call? They stole drugs. They carried BB guns that they could plant on people they shot. Covering up. Meetings, searching without a warrant. They locked me up and took my money. I'm like, hey, I could have kept the money and just let me go. It's the biggest. <laughs> like I said, elite storytelling, and then to bring the the news clips at the end to show yeah. that it's based off real shit that happens mm -hmm. is 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 dope as well. That added another layer of like seriousness to it. Where the bundles at? Or the yeah. kids? You having funerals yeah. form? But I know. But I know who I am. I got that fire in my soul. They trying to turn my heart to stone. Nigga, state your last name and your last two. Sack lunch, PB and J, and orange juice. Head tat, say Pimetta flat. See two rolls up, two rolls back. A nigga I squabbled in Supermax. I've been staring out these windows for three hours flat. Not even just regular jail, regular prison. Man is in. Super max. Abrasions on my wrist. I swear I ain't coming back. That's what I told myself. Then the police showed up at my house. They said I tampered with some witnesses and shot up both their house. That's some bullshit. Crooked cops. In one of the clips in the last track, the crooked cops said someone tampered with witnesses and got him time when it wasn't true. This is a callback to that. Yeah. And he's saying it's bullshit as well. Concrete jungle. I'm just trying to make it home. So now my heart and both my fists, they turn to stones. I'm on my own. Uh, 90 day reception, ain't no phones. We pulling up to R&R. &R. Royal Rumble, let's get it on. I got that Kill. fire in my soul. Woo. They trying to turn my heart to Love stone. how that came back. They just want to take control, but I won't go. Can't wait to hear that one again. I love how they brought her back. And I also love how it, it also flowed from the next one, from a previous track, because that's where everything happened with the crooked, with the crooked cop at his house. I see three hoodies in the corner, who them niggas? Yeah, they been here for a minute. I thought you knew them niggas. I ain't even pay attention. I've been plotting on the business. I'm about to push up on them, tell them everything I'm wanting. Like bro, it can't just be a house party. It can't ever just be the house party, bro. 
No. Nah, because it's scandalous. Everything's scandalous. <laughs> See, three niggas in the hoodies. He, he wasn't even taking them in because he was trying to get some bitches. It's getting tricky with the blicky. Please don't play around with him. That type of time. Either get down or you lay down, nigga. Couple shots, yacht, yacht. Now he hitting the flow. One minute you see him, then the next minute you don't. It's that kind of Damn. In a party, that type of shit happening fucks up the whole vibe. But it also fucked up the vibe of the song. Like the song had a good vibe going, and then that shit happening fucks up the vibe. So it like it directly reflects what would happen party. in real life. Like yeah, it literally fucks up the vibe. Yes. <laughs> this is Santana Red reporting for BTSN Channel 50. We're live on the scene reporting a shooting at a house party where one male was found dead. Damn. The victim's name is Rodney Harris, a college basketball player visiting his mother, Miss Donna Harris. We also have reports oh. of multiple people wounded. So we get to see where, from the, the first track where they said, yo, dude got hit and they were mad. They're like, yo, he was just visiting Innocent. from college school. And, yeah. yeah. And this is where it happened. The yeah. house party. That's what I thought the second track was going to be. I thought it was going to go right into it. But I love how. You know what's crazy? What? The next track is called Full Circle. Yeah. And you know what's dope too? Yeah. Full circle in a way that so the first track you mentioned, it started off with good vibes and then mm -hmm. it turned into yeah. this grimy. And then that track yeah. started off good vibes. vibes, everything's good. And then we get this grimy. Yeah. We're going into this grimy track. So it really even the vibe came full circle. Yeah, I'm glad I brought this burner. You got yours too. Let's go bend some corners. I just see my mama crying. She had blood all on her purses. Wasn't hers, it was his. But nigga is the purpose. Nigga is the principle. How that nigga get a bonus? Smoke whoever with him, that's a bonus. And one on these D's, we ain't. That's a bonus. Whoever's with him, smoke him. That's a bonus. Damn. And one. Mom got blood on her purse. purse. It's not hers, but it's the principle. Like, why does my mom's have blood on, like I don't care whose blood it is, is why yeah. why is she nah? Never get no pistol to them niggas with their bands up. Them niggas they ain't shooters, they just came to flam so I respect you. plus I just made them buy a crate of weapons. What if he's rapping from the perspective of the niggas that shot up the party? I wouldn't even be surprised, bro. Cause that would be fire, cause Cause you getting perspective each perspective. Yeah. You getting perspectives on yeah, this. You getting you like, getting a few, yeah. When it comes to drastic measures, yeah, this shit go full circle. This nigga means business. <laughs> He said, right or wrong, I'm riding with him. Close casket, close case. That's how he got him. Caught him slipping with his homie. Now he dying with dying him. Dying with him. Play if you want to, bitch, I mean business. Hard blue everything, bitch, I'm really crippin'. Fresh out for a murder charge, thank God I beat it. Bitch, that's three and no. I'm on the sheet. Yeah, the shit go for a second. Nigga slidin' with a purpose. You ain't slidin' if you nervous. Uh. Yo. Reminders on no murders. Outside, we gonna serve yeah, full circle. Fresh out off a of murder charge. Beat that. Thank God I, thank God I beat it. Now I'm three and zero. Oh. That's different. <laughs> that, that, that says it says more than just yo. I caught three, but it's saying that yo, I've caught three and y'all haven't caught me. And I walked away and from I this walked, shit. Yeah. You think he going for the sweep? <laughs> Every single time that bass kicked in. Yeah, stank face. We ain't slaves no more. Put these chains for the love. Put these chains for the shine. Yeah, these chains for the crown. Oh, yeah, that money made us change. But that dollar, it don't mean a thing. If you never change, all you do is get it line up blitz. Steady sending flames. Let's stop black on black. But if it get like that, go ahead and get right back. Oh, but your freedom is at stake. <laughs> But nigga, we ain't slaves. We ain't slaves no more. Mm. We don't get paid for the law. I love the connections and transitions in that verse. The the uh the, the connections with slaves and chains, and then at the end, you mentioned your your, your freedom at stake, and then the hook comes back. We ain't we ain't slaves no more. When it comes to retaliation, it's not something that he's looking to do. 
Yeah. It's not something that he's like, yo, I'm just going to go out there and start shooting. And what he just said there, it, no, let's stop the black, black on, black, on black. But if that's what you got to do, then go get them back. You get know what I mean? So. Back. Ashy elbows and knuckles, stash the bells off and duffles. This black rebellion and struggle. The masters passes with hustles. You pay your ties, still end up getting chipped like ruffles. I'm militant, I'm thugging. We hella close. We hugging, I'm barely knowing they bogus. Melaton. Who is this, right? <laughs> Nah, because that energy different. Maybe it's TF on another energy type shit, bro. I don't see, yeah, I don't see no feature. Yo, we got to get that one, bro. Who is that? No man can give anybody his freedom. Yeah, let's take that man shit. Man is born free. You may enslave a man after he is born free. And that is, in fact, what this country does. It enslaves black people after they're born. So that the only act that white people can do is to stop denying black people their freedom. My man ends the project on that note. Everything that he's spoken on throughout this project, he ends it on that note as if to say this is part of the root cause for everything being so scandalous. As for the project, I like the project, bro. I especially like how how it sounded, like the, the different sounds you got and how it was purposeful. Like you started off with a specific energy and it kind of shifted first into a more funk feel and then it shifted into like a more r&b and then it gradually came back into this more grimy sound and everything was gradual and nothing was like sudden and stark yeah. it was like a it, it was like a slowly developing thing and it all felt like it, it, it's it was smooth and it meshed perfectly i'm obviously gonna compare it to the first one to see yeah. which one but right now i gotta listen to this one back but all first listen this was dope bro tf did his thing he did poly rob did his thing with the production yeah, he did. just he did. fire yeah, shout yeah. out to both of them, bro. Honestly. I love his storytelling ability, bro. His storytelling yeah. ability. I love how he brought the two features back for for, for the second run yeah. on this um, nah, Scanless Summer. His storytelling summer. ability is underrated, though. Because yeah. it's not even just the... the, the, the it's not just the one track. No, nah, it's, it's the whole album. It's the the whole, whole album is... His storytelling yeah. ability yeah. is showcased throughout like the whole concept of the album mm. but then that track as well where he's shifting perspectives in the middle of the track yeah and the way Switch he did frame. it is, is, yeah, is yeah. wild shout out to tf shout out to Polly rob as well on the production shout out to all the features they all did their thing mm -hmm. um like we mentioned if you want to hear more links in the description box below but yeah that's the video if you like it hit like we appreciate you if you're new consider subscribing that helps us grow we appreciate that as well y'all keep supporting and we keep dropping that peace